A representative group of residents from Union Hall went to County Hall today to appeal to the council to leave the old pier intact and not put barriers in place. Ayo hey, O'Donnell, can you explain why you're here outside County Hall this morning? Yeah, as you can see, there's a big crowd here uh, this morning and we're protesting uh, against the plans that Cork County Council have to block off the pier, the old pier uh, in Union Hall. Um, there's a lot of local opposition. Why? There's massive opposition from all parts of the community. Um, <laughs> from the fishermen because obviously if the old pier collapses and is allowed to deteriorate and uh, the main pier won't be useful um, because it won't be sheltered in storms and uh, then you've got obviously the leisure community who've been using the pier uh, particularly during the summer months you've got the sailing club in Glandor that use it and then you've got all the young, young people the children that use the pier uh, and the beach of the and just take it away without any plans to actually restore the old pier to its former glory uh, is ridiculous. But they're not talking about taking it away, they're talking about blocking it off. Blocking it off, but the thing is if they block it off and they put the plans in place to restore it, it means that it will deteriorate and it will eventually fall in. Okay, um, Cork County Council seem determined to put up these barriers. Will you take no for an answer? Members of the West Cork Municipal District had tabled a motion calling for the suspension of the plans to restrict access. So uh, 20 of the uh, uh, representatives from Union Hall are coming into the uh, gallery, the public gallery here at the council chamber to uh, view the proceedings this morning. Again, uh, look, all of the West Cork councillors are united in uh, support of the residents and the stakeholders at Union Hall. We don't want to see the old pier at Keelbeg uh, barricaded and uh, cut off. And we're calling the council this morning to uh, put a serious plan together to either provide an alternative or to invest in improving the old pier at Keelbeg. Well, I, the reason that I am so critical of the whole business is that is the way it's handled. It's handled very badly. The people, have, uh, the, the, the people here in Hall are very peaceful people. They have been, um, look, they're easy to deal with, and they, they, and, and they have, uh, they have been very, very peaceful all along. But this, this is a step too far. They, they, were, they were pushed off the main pier tw three years ago before with health and safety issues. Now they're being pushed off. The only thing they left was the old, the old pier. And that old pier, they feel, if that's locked off for good and closed off for good, well then they may never see it open again. And the fact is, what they did say, which is a very good point, why was there a, an order to close the pier when there was no plan B? And there wasn't a plan B. There's no plan to do anything else with this. So uh, I totally support what they're doing, that they, when there wasn't a plan B, like we did try, uh, we wrote to the minister a number of years ago there, uh, two years ago, uh, to get uh, money, which is about 220,000 euros, do a proper application for a master plan for Blendor Pier or Blendor Harbour and Union Hall and it, uh, it, it we, the minister at the time refused it. he said he couldn't but I mean you wouldn't expect a local authority to come up with 220,000 pound euros to uh, just to do an army application planning application so that's the reason why some people seem to think that there was no application made there's no application made simply because there's no money or there was no that, 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 but they're going to have to provide money from some angle because it just can't be left in a position to you know, okay? I'm 100% behind the people of Union Hall. I think it's a disgrace that it's had to come to this level. Putting a barrier up, it's an insult to the community. It's not going to achieve anything and it is not the right way to go. We need to invest in the pier. The money that has been presently put into putting up barriers, that needs to be put into improving the infrastructure. And I completely support the community. Yeah, I understand where the fishermen and the people that use the pier are coming from because I come from a fishing industry myself um, and I know the importance of a pier like this. There's people making money from it and using it for recreation every day of the week. It's vitally important. However, the CEO of Cork County Council, Tim Lucy, said 20 metres of the 80 metre pier must be closed for public safety. How do you feel about that, Ian? Disgusted. Absolutely disgusted. <coughs> Union Hall is being let down yet again uh, by Cork County Council. 
um, you know, they don't have a plan in place, they don't have a plan B, uh, they're talking about now doing more studies and yet another report uh, before they move ahead and they're just going to railroad or try and railroad Union Hall community uh, and by blocking off the head of the old pier.